result of this uh, launching uh, of... Uh Levels of violence and crime in the region have climbed. Over the past 25 years, the number of robberies in the region has tripled. The WHO has recently referred to the high and in some countries growing homicide rates as reaching epidemic levels. Point. The report notes that what it terms... Today, the discussion of citizen security in Latin America is highly politicized. What we're saying is that in each country, uh, the government, the opposition, political parties and civil society should think about the possibility of arriving at a national agreement for citizen security um, as a state policy based on ample consensus and consultation that can have measures for the short, medium and, and long term. The P is offering the nations of Latin America. We need to actively safeguard the rights of victims, regulate and reduce the crime triggers, alcohol, drugs and firearms, and then strengthen regional coordination. To end, we feel that there's no single magical solution for insecurity, only an integrated, multidimensional approach and that can be sustained through, through time. Without citizen security, countries' efforts to achieve their development objectives can be, and often are, curtailed or frustrated. The report diagnoses the scope and the scale of the region's citizen security challenges. And it offers a number of recommendations based on experience of what is seen to have worked and what doesn't, on how countries could lift citizen security. Governments should take the initiative to establish spaces for public participation, see that people are engaged and are responded to. Local civil society groups can take a lead role, working with counterparts and governments.